Today, I'll show you how to adjust avatar dimensions. First, we navigate to the asset library. Find a European version avatar. Import her. You can open or add here. Then import the corresponding size chart for the avatar to facilitate clothing making for this size of the human body. Next, according to this size chart, edit the dimensions of each part of the avatar to facilitate modifying the upper and lower hip circumferences of the avatar. First, we use the height difference tool. Then, draw a 4 inch height line downwards from the waist. This circumference is customized as the upper hip line. Then, draw a 7 inch height line downwards from the waist. This circumference is customized as the lower hip line. Click the basic circumference measurement tool and measure the lower hip circumference as 36.8 inches. Use the height difference tool to measure the height between the crotch and the thigh circumference to be about 1 inch. Delete the 4 inch height line. Next, customize the dimensions of the avatar. According to the size chart, customize the height to be 66 inches. Click Lock. Customize the bust circumference to be 36 inches. Click Lock. Customize the under bust circumference to be 30.5 inches. Click Lock. Customize the waist circumference to be 29 inches. Click Lock. Customize the neck circumference to be 13.5 inches. Click Lock. Customize the shoulder width to be 15 inches. Click Lock. For finer adjustments, click Advanced Options. Customize the front chest width to be 13.5 inches. Customize the back width to be 14.5 inches. For aesthetic purposes, make appropriate adjustments. Narrow the back width to 14.15 inches. Customize the front center length to be 29 inches. Scroll down, customize the thigh circumference to be 22 inches. Customize the calf circumference to be 27.75 inches. Click Lock. Find the arm circumference from above and customize it to be 12 inches. Click Lock. Customize the upper hip circumference to be 36 inches. Increase the lower hip circumference to around 38 inches. Click the individual reset for the upper hip circumference. Continuously adjust the upper and lower hip circumferences for harmony and aesthetics until coordinated. Make appropriate adjustments. Let's take a look at the final result. That's it for this video. Thank you all for watching.